here with Strike Force middleweight Matt Lindland, your your coach to Chael Sonnen. He's coming off a, a major win tonight here, a number one contender win. How do you feel about Chael's performance? I am very impressed with Chael, and uh, I've been coaching him for a long time, and this is probably the most impressed I've been with him. The, the Achilles heel in Sonnen's career has been the, the submissions, and he was able to fight out of that. Um, what were you feeling in, in his corner? You know, when, when you watched him fight through it and, and get away uh, and out. It's not his submission skills or his submission defense. It's, it was his uh, ability to fight through tough situations, and uh, he's he's corrected that, and uh, he's able to show his skills and show uh, what a great athlete he is, what a great fighter is, and he's. Uh, He's a different fighter right now, so let's uh, let's just keep moving forward. You've known Chael since he was 17. What about his mental game change coming in, into this fight where he's able to fight through those positions? It's been a long process of changing that mental game uh, since since he was 16 years old, and we've uh, you know we, we've come a long ways. He's a, he's a much tougher man. He's a, you know than he was a kid, you know, and now and now he's an adult and he's a UFC number one contender. I mean, we're I think we're getting there. As his trainer, do you want to see him fight Anderson Silva or do you want to see him fight Vitor Belfort? You know, I, whoever we fight, whoever comes out of that, uh, I think Chael matches up with either one of those guys fine. Uh, they're both stand-up guys. It's going to be a stand-up versus a wrestler. And, you know, they both have skills all around. They have the submission skills. I think they're both black belts and on the ground. You know, they're, they're, they're both great fighters. I, I personally don't care. I think uh, either one's a good matchup for us. It, it seems that Chael Sonnen's finally going to be getting his due after this win. Uh, how, are you, how excited are you about that? Oh, I think he, he's, he's come through. I think he's he stepped up to the plate and, and shown his abilities and shown his skills. And so, you know, he's, he deserves all the credit. Switching gears here, what's next for Matt Lindland? Uh, well, I think Matt Lindland's going to be fighting here in the spring pretty soon with Strike Force. And, uh, you know, we'll get back out there, get back to work. I got a phenomenal training partner and uh, a lot of other good guys at my gym to, to help push me and prepare me. And I've got some great coaches now uh, at our gym. We just keep rolling.